is just uh, take care of all like the cleanliness part of the stream okay uh, and please reset my buzzer team 3 yeah i will i will don't worry i'll reset it once uh, the quiz starts right so you you want to take a go at the buzzers go ahead it's not an issue the stream is now on perfect right let me know when you guys are ready to start because i certainly am and resetting buzzers and uh, uh some teams are yet to switch on their videos teams just do that very quickly so and team 7 said to wait for a minute are you ready now team 7 yeah okay while they do that let me start with the quiz and by welcoming all of you to roti kapra makan internet quiz in association with the quiz club at iit ism albat right uh it it's it's a very nice feeling that you know uh i'm getting to do this quiz and right it's quizzing is always fun i'm hoping that this uh offline quizzing also starts very very soon but other than that right this is great uh, there's a great quiz to do and here we are right we have eight teams with us in the finals the finals is entirely on buzzers teams just a quick word please keep all your videos on and your hands be visible at all times and that's just uh, the general instruction okay so right we'll we'll start with uh, the introductions for the teams right team 1 Can you unmute right. yourself? With, introduce uh, yourselves. Tell me what you do, and just yeah. Hi, we are Team Geo VB. All of us are from Kolkata. It's me, Piyush, Shubhadeep, and Anwar. Splendid, right? So all the best to Team One. That was Team One, right? Team Two. Hello, uh, we are Team Niyati from Delhi. Um, it's Harini and Ashwin. Okay, so this is a team of two people. Yes. Oh yes. Okay. Right. Team three. In Hi. This is uh, this is team one. Uh, this is Rithik from uh, Pune, and uh, I was supposed to be here with my friend who's from uh, Kolkata, but uh, he couldn't make it to the final round. So I'll be going alone in this round. Okay. All the best to you. Right. Hopefully he Thanks. joins in in the middle of the quiz. Will, yeah, he might join. We will allow yeah. him when he joins. Right. Team four. I am Akash. We are from Ranchi. We are team Nadil Pani, and we are second year engineering students. Thank you. Wait. Oh, lovely. All the best to you too. Team five. Yeah. Hello. Deep uh, side. Uh, Ankit Amrit. I am from Nasik, Maharashtra. Okay. And you are participating Lone Bulls. Yes. All the best to you. Thank you. And uh, team six. Yeah, hello. I am uh, Shubham. I am from Kochi, and uh, I had a teammate, but uh, he won't be able to join the finals. Okay, that seems to be the story for a lot of teams today. But uh, all the best to you too, Team Seven. We have Kevin. I am from Chennai, and uh, my fourth year of college, I think. And my teammate might join in, like some of the few other few other teams. So we we'll just hope he joins in. No issues. No issues at all. And the final team for today, team eight. Yeah, hello everyone. Um, I'm from team Chennai, Sri Champar, and uh, I'm from Chennai. I'm a first year uh, BA economic student. Um, I, I'm, I had registered with my partner, but he couldn't make it to the uh, like he couldn't participate in the quiz. So I'll be going lone wolf. Okay, so the ides of March uh, setting on quite early in the quiz. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, here we are with the eight teams, and. Uh, Pretty very high scoring elims. It was a uh, sixteen on twenty, and the cutoff was somewhere around eleven or twelve or something, something like that. Uh, don't remember. So it was supposed to be a six team finals, 
and then there was a tie from six, seven, eight. So I just thought, let's take all eight teams in the finals and let's have our way with it. Without further ado, let me start with the quiz. First of all, thank you so much, the Quiz Club IIT SM Dunbar for inviting me to do this quiz, and a thank you to all the participants, right, for staying back and right doing what you do. Okay, general rules about the quiz: uh, four rounds. Four rounds. When I started making the quiz, it was a bounce and pounds and all of that, right? Uh, with the online format, I had to switch it to buzzers. So that is the terrain that we will be playing. With round one, as Douglas Adams says, is the best advice given to mankind. Aptly called, "Don't panic." Seven questions in the first round, plus ten for every correct answer, minus five for an incorrect answer. All the questions in the quiz are on buzzers. For the first round. we'll take the first two attempts for the first and the second round that is right so once the teams buzz i'll see uh, this i'll see who's buzz the first and the second and what not on the interface and so will you once you see your name on the top of the list please unmute yourself i'll come to you and then you're allowed to answer straight uh with the rules yes rithik i can see your buzz can you just hold on for a second okay uh sorry to interrupt you bhushan uh yeah. again our team for diya and team for yashwardhan your cameras are switched off could you please switch it on yeah teams just two rules you need to follow cameras to be on at all times and your hands to be visible at all times right uh, bhushan uh, is it fine if say my teammate buzzes but i answer in on his behalf yeah okay, that's right oh lovely guy Yeah. See, very. This is this is like a very smart thing to get cleared out, right? And uh, is coming from Piyush. I'm not surprised, right? He's very well versed with quizzing. No, no. Strategy. All of my teammates are not using the audio, so no, no, not an issue, okay. right? All the best to all the eight teams. So uh, okay. So first uh, round. Again, seven actually, questions. sorry, Bhushan. Uh, Dia and Yash here. Hands should be visible with the mobile in the frame. Just just drop drop in a message uh, to them on their private chat or something, or something like that. I don't mind you interrupting, right? Uh, but uh, if it's in the interest of the rules of the quiz, okay. So as I said, seven questions plus ten minus five. First two attempts on the buzzer, and by first two attempts, I mean the first two teams, right? So if the same team buzzes first and second, and right another team buzzes on third, we'll go from first to third directly right you play as a team and uh, not as individuals here okay question 1 on your screens now okay so the early association of this fabric to the world especially france and greece was seen when it was found in charlemagne's tomb dyed with byzantine motifs evidently a gift from the byzantine imperial court in the 8th and the 9th century ad what twill fabric is this that often gets mentioned in the origin story of yet another fabric from europe with a similar weave and this fabric the other fabric that i'm talking of okay holding hints on that one team 4 akash you have buzzed for the first plus 10 in the quiz what is your answer serge Serge, Serge is absolutely correct. Serge or Sergey, however you want to pronounce it, plus ten to team four. So this is Serge de Nims from where denim comes from, right? So when they were trying to uh, have their way with denim, they said, "Oh, this is the Serge from the Nimes or the Neem region of France." I don't know how that is pronounced properly, but Serge is the answer that I was looking for. Gone in a flash. Taken away by team four plus ten to team four. Just want to ask one thing: Is there any negatives uh, in this round? Minus five. Sure. Okay. Question two. The buzzers are reset. Question two. Some years back, the Adventist school in Parana, Brazil, came up with a very positive initiative, taking inspiration from a biblical tale. 
Okay, Piyush, going for it in a flash. Yes, Piyush, tell me. The blue whale challenge. This is the blue whale challenge. Oh. Beautifully played. Plus 10. Do you care to elaborate and go on with your answer? Uh, yeah, so the blue whale challenge was something that was taking teenagers and kids to suicide. <coughs> Probably this was to counter this and Jonah and the whale being the reference. Precisely. Plus 10 to team 1. Ah. He was stopping me midway and taking the answer away. The biblical tale was the tale of Jonah and how he gets eaten alive by a whale and a lot of young kids were quite literally you know, uh, giving themselves away to the blue whale. And that is how the Adventist school combated it. So this is the blue whale challenge plus 10 to team one. Question three on your screen. As it was simple and accessible for women of all social strata, right? All social levels and all social classes, what apparel when launched in the 1920s was referred to as Chanel's Ford by the Vogue magazine. Because it was referred to as Chanel's Ford because Ford had okay, I see two teams buzzing, which is why I stopped midway. Team 2 Ashmi, please unmute yourself and tell me what the answer is. Um, can I answer instead? Yes, please. Uh, it was it Coco Chanel's black dress? Coco Chanel's little black dress. Chanel's Ford, as a reference to Ford Model T, where they said it is available in all colors as long as it is black. So the Ford Model T and that allusion in the world of fashion is Chanel's Ford, which is the little black dress, beautifully clacked by Team 2. Team 2 gets a plus 10 on this. So it's been a 10, 10, 10 in the first three questions. No team taking a negative. Question four, here it is. So this internet trend is, according to this New York Times article, is not necessarily new. It's been around since the time of Henry III. Uh, this particularly focuses on a specific food item. Team 7. What trend is this? Team 7, can you be a little more clearer with your answer? I'm having some auditory issues. That's the, the whole trend was started. Okay, perfect. I'll give this to you. Right. So this is everything is cake, right? The cake trend where uh, any and all objects can be converted into cake. That was a trend. Okay. Plus 10 to team seven for no points, right? Just for the fun of it. What was the title or just make up a wordplay and what was the title? This is for no points. You can just unmute yourself and tell me of the New York article, New York Times article. Is it um, let them be cake? Close. So it is let them eat fakes coming from Mary Antoinette's let them eat the cake. Right. So good, very good attempt at that. So you said let them be cake and yeah, uh, cake fetches you, right, plus 10 on this question. Volunteers, are you with the scores now? Uh, yes, sir. Perfect. Okay. Question five on the screen now. What internet technology owes its Piyush? <laughs> Uh, webcam. Camp. Webcam. Okay. And how so? So basically they wanted to see if the coffee pot was warm and I think that is why they installed a camera and that is how webcam. They wanted to see if the coffee pot was full or not so that they wouldn't have to take a trip and come back without any coffee. And that is how webcams were invented because they hooked up a camera to a computer screen and webcam came into being plus 10 to Team one with that beautiful answer and with that entire story. Question six, two more in this round, six on your screen now. Okay. So chanko nabe is a Japanese dish mostly eaten by sumo wrestlers, right? It does not follow a specific recipe and it's made using whatever meat is available for the general people. 
only one only the one specifically made for sumo wrestlers is made from a certain ingredient due to a certain quality from where this ingredient is sourced that also inspired william riley to start a sports footwear company what ingredient is this and why is it chosen specifically this is a related answer so buzz only if you know right both the parts to this no teams going for it there is a stark differentiation between how this dish dish was made with other meats and then one specific type of meat if you can call it that was chosen team meat okay this is a guess um, is this uh, the puffer fish and for puffer fish to be cooked like um, the cooks they need like a certain certification because it's supposed to be poisonous uh, to the person eating it unfortunately that is not the correct answer team made you were talking about the puffer fish or the fugu fish uh, and your story was wasn't incorrect it requires certain certified certifications for the chefs to make fugu fish because it's highly poisonous but a fugu fish is not something that we were looking for and with that i close the question here so chanko nabe for sumo wrestlers is made only with chicken and not any other meat because chicken is an animal or like a bird which walks on two legs as opposed to the goat or the cow or whatever that has four legs and these two legged stances of chicken uh is said right the belief is that it's said to have make the sumos have better balance right and the sports wear sports footwear company clue was new balance because right william riley got the idea of new balance looking at the chicken's legs so sort of tied it all together uh at least i tried so <laughs> that was question 6 question 6 consuming team 8 and team 8 getting a minus 5 on that and question 7 last one in this round here it is okay so before the spaniards before spaniards arrived in this asian country a certain kind of cuisine right of this country was focused purely on fruit based dishes that with coconuts watermelons guavas mangoes some such but as spaniards arrived so did the need to build churches right because right of the christianity adoption as the churches were being built the mortar used a readily available edible item and as large numbers of these edible entities were used in building churches the other part of these edible items made its way into the aforementioned cuisine right simply identify what the edible item was that was used for mortar and it was basically used for emulsification right i see team 6 on the buzzer team 6 yeah is this egg white the whites uh... this is egg whites so the country and the country being the country uh is i i don't know if, uh, which country i guess uh, i guess uh, in philippines or something precisely you bang on with your guess so this is philippines the country did not fetch any points anyway uh, but this is egg whites and because egg whites were used in emulsification of the mortar and which is why the yolk the egg yolk started being used in desserts and making cakes and some such right so the cake and the desserts which were predominant fruit fruit to in it that brings us to the first end of the first round can we have a look at the scores
just a second not an issue uh, if you want so, to just drop it in the chat box that's also fine uh, all right so and i'll announce them for youtube and for the benefit of the teams as well right till then uh, till the scores come up uh, let's look at what we have on the next round next round is something that is mostly harmless as was odds entry in the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy this is mostly mostly harmless is uh, akil have you shared the google sheet uh, yeah in the chat uh okay let me just look at that it can you just share the access have sent it to you okay mostly harmless around right which as name suggests is mostly harmless similar drill however there is one small hook to it before you start answering on any question right it's the same two attempts per buzzer but before you start answering on any question you are allowed to go for a bonus of 5 points <clears throat> so if you get it correct you get a 15 but if you get it wrong you get a minus 10 instead of a minus 5 right so that is the scoring that you will need to negotiate uh can somebody please share the google sheet or something okay perfect team 1 is on 20 team 2 is on 10 team 3 is on 0 team 4 is on 10 team 5 is on 0 Team six is on ten. Team seven is on ten, and team eight is on minus five. Teams, uh, word of advice: please also uh, keep your own scores and keep the scores of the remaining teams. So it just helps, right, when you are playing the quiz. Right. Also, keep a note of what answers you got with what score, so that it's if there is a discrepancy, it's just easier to tally it. Right. That being said. the buzzers are reset for the second round and mostly harmless on your screen question 1 here it is mm -hmm. sure yes so these are the 1945 ruins of what iconic structure that was rebuilt with the philosophy of yin and yang in mind to symbolize the transition of czechoslovakia from a communist regime to parliamentary democracy this team 5 do you want to play at a base or do you want to go for a bonus team 5 then team 6 yes normal one yeah normal tell me uh, the dancing house this is the dancing house the clue i was going to give you was that this in turn was uh built and designed by frank gehry and named after two artists who were very popular right working together and creating beautiful art so this is the dancing house one part of it is dynamic the other static and that fetches them a plus 10 so this is a plus 10 to team 5 we'll move on to question 2 in this round Okay, so twenty-three skidoo is an American slang generally referring to leaving quickly or forced or being forced to leave quickly. Okay, popular teams have buzzed. Yes, team five. If you were on no, 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 no,
is team four. Team four is the first one to buzz for this question. No, no, right? no, 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 sir. Uh, team one. Um, you can uh, one. like you can you can see the time difference. Yeah, yeah. let's yeah. let's Based just grab this. Game. Let's just grab this. Uh, Bhushan, see, look at the time difference. We buzzed first, right? You can see. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I understand. I understand. This was my bad, right? And uh, I'll put up a replacement question after the seventh in this round is done. Technically, let's skip this, right? As much as I would hate to skip this one, but that is in the interest of fairness. Anyway, just for a non-com, tell me what this answer would be. The flat iron building. Precisely. So this would be the flat iron building, and because the flat iron building is designed such, uh, right? It says that it does not do anything for the winds, and because of that, the winds are very torrential around this geography and around this structure. I am so sorry. This was a boo boo from my end, but yeah, that that's life. Question three: The buzzers have been reset. Yes. Okay. What is the name of their single serve meal service, which will remind you of a certain Mr. James Newell Osterberg, right? Designated as the Godfather of Punk. Look at what the logo is. Look at what domain this person belongs to, and give me an answer. Team Seven, Calvin. Uh -huh. I'll take a shot and say this is Swiggy Pop. This is Swiggy Pop, right? So, Iggy Pop and Swiggy coming together and forming Swiggy Pop as a service on the internet. Very, very beautifully worked out, Team Seven. Plus ten to you, teams. If you don't tell me if you're going for a bonus or not, I'll assume that you're playing at a base, right? Yeah, this was Team... a guess only, so I thought I'll. No, no, we, uh, and a fair guess at that. I'm just informing for the benefit of the other teams as well that if you don't tell me, I'll assume that it's on a base, right? Very, very nicely done, Team Seven. Question four on your screens. Okay, celebrities such as Madonna, Demi Moore have followed a much controversial diet plan, according to which one has to undergo a juice cleanse on a particular day of the month. The extended version of this plan necessitates one of the follow one to follow a certain pattern. Like not eating after six p.m. Team six and team four stopping me midway before eating. Question. Yeah, this what? is werewolf. Uh, werewolf diet. Team six taking this away perfectly. This is the werewolf diet, right? And the diet is dependent on right the moon phases, right? So you're supposed to have a certain amount of right, certain type of diet in the first phase, right? First moon phase, and then the second moon phase, either waning and waxing and something like that. Plus ten to team six teams not playing on the bonuses and losing out on five extra points, but that's their strategy. Three more questions, four more questions in this round actually. Uh, yeah, question five on your screen. Here it is. So across Ireland, you'll see such structures commissioned by kings and affluent uh, people in the mid nineteenth. Piyush. I said the, the Badai Mambada. Four words, and he takes this plus ten. Not going for a bonus again. Piyush, can you uh, tell me what right what story this is and what this is? Yeah. So essentially, there was a famine, and they wanted people to work and earn money and get food. So that is what. <laughs> Precisely. So these are called famine follies, right? And because there were famines. uh the kings and the affluent people right they wanted the poor people to earn their wages and earn their money uh, with dignity they did not just want to give it to them similarly the bada imam bara is built where the poor people built it during the day and the rich broke it down in uh, in the night so that the people had something to work on the next day and that's a very very noble story If uh, right, I will say so, and it's a very heartwarming story. But uh, that gets team one their due plus ten. Question six on your screen now. Okay, 
So the person in the picture is a pioneer, right? He started a certain restaurant synonymous with the style of cooking. This restaurant, team one playing really aggressive. Yes, Pio, stand yeah. uh, 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 Just, just a second. Uh, we'll go with Tepenyaki. Minus five. To you. Since you played it on base, you said Tepenyaki. This, if you read the question correctly, that is not. Just a second, just a second. Team one, just a second. Team four is on the buzzer. Team four. Team four, can you. Sorry? Kirauki Aki. Team four also getting a minus five on that. And with that, the question closes. Piyush, you were on the right drift. The is porcelain equipment is called Hibachi, right? So this is Aoki of Benihana fame, right? And popular Hibachi restaurants, they fall under a teppanyaki-ish cuisine, right? Looking for a porcelain equipment back in Japan, this porcelain equipment is called the Hibachi utensil or something like that. So that is Hibachi for you. Two teams getting minuses on that question. Two teams getting minus five each. Question seven. Here it is. Okay. So there's a new Amazon HQ in Virginia. Due to its appearance, it's compared to two entities, both from the world of communication. If one is from the mythology and is the Tower of Babel. What is the other more modern comparison done to this Amazon headquarters in Virginia? No teams going for it. And rightly mentioned, it is from the world of communication. We'll close the question in five, four, three, two, and one. With that, the question closes. Non com guesses are welcome now. The total is not quite. This looks like uh, Malvia Mosque, the not Samara bad. Mosque in Iraq. The answer that I was looking for, the direct comparison to this is the poop emoji. So they said it's the Tower of Babel and the poop emoji in one building, right? The new Amazon headquarter. So that is, yes, Akash got it uh, in the chat. And I saw Akash's buzz, but right, already disclosed the answer by then. Right. So this is question seven. Hold on for one second, right? I need to put in just one image and everything, and we'll have the replacement question in front uh, instead of the flat iron building question, right? I'm just stopping share screen for a second. Till then, uh, can we have the scores? Uh, yeah, so team one's at uh, 25, team two is still at 10, team three at zero, team four at five, team six, I mean, team five at 10, uh, team six at 20, team seven at 20 again, and team eight at minus five. Is that okay? Yeah, I got it. Take a note.
Right. So I have the replacement question with me. Just a second. Allow me to share my screen once again, and I'll tell you what the question is. Right. Okay. This is the second question replacement here. Hear me out. Hear me out. Right. Can all of you see what the image is? Perfect. Okay. So this, this is an equipment, right? Which is used to give electric shock during electric torture. Now, originally this was an equipment used by cattle herders and, you know, uh, yeah, cattle herders and whatnot. And this equipment and said that where they used to poke the cattle with this equipment, the place where they poked, uh, right, they poked the cattle with this equipment, that cut or that specific part of the cow and whatnot is known by a certain cut or it's known by a certain uh yeah cut and you know it's then made into a steak made into right uh, cooked and then made into a steak what is this device or give me the name of the cut from where right which originates from this equipment used by cattle herders This is, uh, yes, team four. Team four, Akash. The device is apparently cattle prod. And uh, the part which, uh, God. Can I just mute and? Yeah, no, I'll have to give you a minus five. And team six. six. Yes, so this is cattle prod. And it uh, continuously agreed. being prod. Give me the name of the cut. Uh, this is a cut. Uh, I... Cut that gets its name from the name of this cattle prod or something, whatever you would like to call it. I just uh, uh, I just went for the position where it uh... minus five again. So minus five to team four and minus five to team six on that question. Teams, uh, okay. I'll give you the answer on this one. Um, excuse me, team two is also bust. Yeah, just two attempts per question, ma'am. Okay. Okay. That's right. Um, again, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, Team four, Dia. Um, I'm not sure if your hands are invisible or if the virtual backgrounds are interfering with it. But uh, could you switch off your virtual background, maybe, because we can't see your hands at all. Uh, teams will be very strict with uh, the hands and right. Yeah. So volunteers and organizing team, please stop me whenever you want to. And this would be the last warning to team four. Yeah. Effectively. Okay. Perfect. Right. So this equipment is called the picana and the cut that comes out of it is called the picaya right so the picaya is like a rump cut a loin cut of sorts right and it's taken from the uh, right towards the rear end of a cow it's called the picaya right a picaya is very famous in brazil and portugal and something like that right and then they cook this picaya cut and they make it into a steak and they sear it with like rock salt and something like that so it's supposed to be very uh, tasty. I uh, haven't tried it yet, but hopefully someday. So that is Picana and Picaya. And that was the replacement question. Team, what is your score? What do your scores look like? Team one's at 25. Okay. Team two is at 10. Team three is right. at 10. Team four is at zero. Team five is at 10. 
team 6 is at 15 team 7 okay. is at 20 and team 8 is at minus 5 perfect right uh so this is is a very interesting ish round uh, it's called someone else's problem right uh, this is a, there's a small experiment round that uh, i came across from somewhere right i think uh, i read it online and whatever and this is me trying it out it's four questions in regular buzzer quizzes you buzz when you know the answer right in this round you buzz when you don't the catch is when you buzz you secure yourselves from answering that question you don't get a positive you don't get a negative the other seven teams have to write and they can submit their answers to me very very quickly like in the uh in the window of 10 to 15 to 20 seconds after i finish speaking even if a team buzzes i am not going to finish speaking i am going to queue on the clues and what not teams uh, i request you to send me a private chat in the chat box uh, so that you know it's just easier for me okay uh, yeah. can you explain the rules again once just yeah, yeah, yeah. just a sec okay so teams 5 6 7 8 you guys are good team one to the okay so once a team buzzes they are out of that question the remaining seven teams are required to send me an answer okay through their private chat or something like that the team which has buzzed does not get a positive does not get a negative the questions are really right fairly easy the other seven teams get a shot at answering the question by writing it if they get it right they get a plus 5 if they get it, they get a plus 10 if they get it wrong they get a minus 5 so the decision that you have to make is that are you going to stay in the same place or are you going to take that risk and get ahead in the quiz quite fittingly in the philosophy of lewis carroll and how we call the red queen's race if you need to be right if you need to stay in the same place you need to do all the running that you can if you need to get somewhere else you need to run twice as fast and that is what the round is four questions because right this is this is a much much better round in person i'm just trying it out on online for the first time and see how and they can secure themselves they do not answer it anymore they are out so effectively a team can buzz on all four questions and stay on zero for this round and look at other teams get more points than them so that's the equation that you need to clear in your head question What one nobody buzzes right this is a fictional character that we are looking for that whose name is given to this youth protection revision act from south korea which takes away their video games and their video game rights at midnight it gets reinstated at 6 o'clock in the morning but once the clock strikes 12 it's done right their fun time is over can you send the answers or uh, do we have to wait for not the not yet not yet nobody's burst for it so okay okay yeah so even if you send the answers it's not going to fetch you any points until somebody tries to play it uh what like gushan how does that make sense from a gameplay point of view sorry it make right yeah, yeah it's if somebody does not buzz right so essentially if no one is buzzing then they are all confident that they can work out the answer right so i mean sure if that is what that is how you want to play it sure i am all for it i mean cancelling the question does not make any sense right i mean that sure sure go ahead go ahead right you can send your points right send your answers in and if you get it wrong you still run a risk of a negative 5 So, yeah, this is nicely, nicely done, yeah, Piyush. I did not, uh, did not occur to me some of this. So yeah, uh, okay. So team one gets a plus ten. Team five gets a plus ten. Team four gets a plus ten. Team six, team seven, and team eight get a plus ten. Team three hasn't answered, so they don't get 
any points they don't get any negatives as well since nobody buzzed had somebody buzzed we would have given them negatives team okay. two is also answered team three you need to write it down no, team two team you can four five six seven eight all get a plus ten team three failing two and cash write this question question two here it is so block by block a charitable initiative once again if you don't know the answer please buzz and get yourself safe from a negative right if that makes sense a charitable initiative which aims to encourage young people to get involved in urban regeneration was founded as a partnership between the united nations and which unlikely entity i see one answer and the one answer i see is incorrect because this is a roti kapda makan internet quiz and i see two more i see two more uh, i'll keep the question open for another uh, five i have actually buzzed almost the same teammate teammate has buzzed okay so teammate does not get a positive does not get a negative perfect so team eight so, uh, does this make it compulsory for the other seven teams to take a guess no if the teams if a team buzzes and the other teams do not answer that fetches the other team which haven't answered a min- negative as well yeah okay that's what i want yeah okay so closing that question team 1 gets a minus 5 they went with the other obvious guess and i'll tell you what that is in right just a moment team 5 team 2 get a plus 10 each so does team 4 team 6 team 7 yeah so 2 5 6 2 5 4 6 get a plus 10 team 3 gets a minus 10 no uh, minus 5 this time and so does team 1 team 1 wrote lego right and yeah, yeah. obvious of the two yeah so since this was more internet leaning uh, we got we've gone with minecraft and minecraft is the answer that we were looking for the first question yeah the first question i don't think i disclosed the answer but that was a cinderella law right so cinderella law from question 1 minecraft from question 2 okay yeah question 3 just a second let me reset the buzzer okay question 3 on your screens now connect these two images to a fashion accessory the image on your left is the trans gender specifically the trans women flag the image on your right is goiter what fashion accessory ties in very well together with goiter as well as the trans women community team 1 getting it correct team 1 gets a plus 10 team 4 has bust so team 4 has put you all in trouble the other teams team 1 and team 7 get a plus 10 so far team 4 gets a zero team 8 gets a minus 5 question open for another 10 seconds Five, four, three, two, and one. So one and seven get a plus ten. Two, three, five, six, and eight get a minus five each. This is where the round starts making a difference in the overall score line. Scorers, are you with me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Just last question and ending your misery with this round. Okay. Connect these images. And and also, the weave a story around so, them. Uh, um, what is the answer to the previous question? The previous question. Sorry, chokers. I forget. I have to write uh, this since it's a round. So chokers, right? Chokers 
trans uh, it's very popular amongst the trans women community because it helps them hide their adam's apple before without undergoing like a procedure or something like that and chokers in the earlier times were also used to hide goiters because they were primarily around the neck so that is chokers for you and question 4 here it is connect these images and we was story around them team 6 has bust team 7 unfortunately you will have to answer the creation of fillet of fish beavers and the creation of falafel have a very common reason behind all of them right they were created as the response to something what okay just team 4 giving me the first correct answer team 4 very nicely done plus 10 to you just taking some time to write can you wait for a bit not an issue take your time team 6 has buzzed team 7 and team 5 unfortunately you will have to write team 2 gets a minus 5 Team one gets a minus five. Team eight gets a minus five. Team seven, give me one word. Give me one word. Oh, right, got it, got it. Team seven gets a plus ten. and with that i'll close the question and close this round as well team 7 gets a plus 10 team 8 1 and 2 gets a minus uh 5 team 4 gets a plus 10 team 3 gets a minus 5 if i'm not wrong team 6 does not get any points does not score any points and uh yeah is any team left team 5 team 5 also yeah team 5 also gets a minus 5 perfect with that we come to the end of this horrible round uh, that we call someone else is problem let's look at what problems have been created on the score line with this okay, what's the answer yeah okay just a second i just been... okay so this is fillet of fish beaver meat and falafel were all created and are all consumed during the time of lent because eating right regular meat is not allowed meat is not allowed during the time of lent so they said fish is allowed because they right, are aquatic and what not so so was the beaver and falafel being like the vegetable variant very very close to the texture of meat with the right uh, the stuffing and what not right so all of these were created to circumvent the non meat eating laws during lent Okay, uh, Akhil. Yes, yeah, Akhil. Uh, can you just so this, do like a a sum of right? Just enter a formula or something, no? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got it. Uh, so team one is at thirty five. Okay. Team two is at uh twenty. Team three is at minus ten. Team four is at thirty. Team five is at twenty. Team six is at thirty. Team seven at sixty, and team eight uh, eight at minus five. Perfect. Okay, right. Sir, yes. My teammate has just joined. It's time to join. Perfect. Okay. Uh, just get him on the buzzer system. Right. You do it. You do it in the back end. I'll just explain what no. the round is till then. Right. And with that, we come to the last round of the quiz. Right. And this is the total perspective vortex because. puts things in perspective right so uh yeah two two three teams on 30 one team on 60 so it's still a very fair playing field same rules apply two attempts per question five questions in this round the first two are on a plus 10 minus 5 question 3 4 and 5 are on a plus 15 minus 10 right that is 65 points at stake to be won and yeah 
some 40 um, could points. You, uh, could you repeat the point system again? Yeah, two attempts. Right, so two teams on a plus 10, minus 5, 3, 4, and 5 on a plus 15, minus 10. Fair enough. And the same rules. So two teams pressing the buzzer first get to answer. All the best. This is the last round. Question one on your screen. Now, invented by Stephen Burrow. This is a very popular hemp style that gets its name due to its resemblance to the leaf of which plant from the daisy family. Very, very popular. Okay. Team four, Akash. Lettuce. Lettuce is correct. Plus 10 to you. Right. Plain and simple. This is known as the lettuce hem. And lettuce will give you, let us give you plus 10. Right. It'd be remiss to not make that one. Question two. Again, for a plus 10 minus five on your screen, here it is. Simply identify what is the core philosophy behind the design of these two entities. On your left, you see a food item. On your right, you see a European structure and a magic square. To that, what is the common connection? Going on with the question, the food item is the baklava. And on your right, you see a magic square from La Sagrada Familia, the famous cathedral in Barcelona. What is the core philosophy which connects these two entities very nicely? And it connects and it directs them towards one person. <clears throat> Can you, can you repeat it, Kushan? Or Busha, sorry. Yeah, uh, I get that a lot. So that's fine. Team yeah. two on the buzzer uh, for now. And then team six. I'm so sorry, Alvin. Uh, but right, they buzzed while we were talking. Team two. Tell uh, me. The years of Jesus Christ's life. How so? Uh, because uh, uh, the layers, they have like the number is 33. So it represents the, day, uh, the, uh, the last year on which Jesus Christ died at 33 years old. Okay, we'll give this to you. So a Greek baklava has 33 layers. The magic square on La Sagrada Familia is, it adds up to 33, both pointing to the life duration of Jesus Christ, plus 10 to team two. Team two, what score are you on now? Um, we are now uh, on the round to 30. Okay, you are on 30 as well. So a couple of teams on 30. Okay, team one on the 35, no, wait. Yeah, team one on a 35, team two on 30, team three on minus 10, team four on 40, team five on 20, team six on 30, team seven on 60, and team eight is on minus five. Right. So here we are. Three more questions, plus 15, minus 10 is your scoring. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, team four, they are put, uh, you're repeatedly looking at your phone. Ring. Team two, I also request you to hold your phone properly and tilt your laptop screen a little below. No, no, that's fine. I'm just uh, making sure. Uh, excuse yeah, me. I'm like talk, talking to my teammates on my phone. And then the buzzer. Are you also texting on. or are you on a call? See what I'm going to do is question after, you know. So if I don't see a buzz in five seconds, the question dies. Right. Uh, okay. Question three on your screen for plus 15 minus 10. Here it is. So Petit Fours, a small confection or savory item is responsible for what? Now discontinued trend in the world of technology. We are five seconds. Team eight and then team four. Team eight, what is your answer? Okay, um, this is the, um, the Android version being named of a desert. <laughs> plus 10, plus 15 to you team eight. So you finally come across that negative line and you are on 10 now. 
So Petite Force Android 1 was originally codenamed as Petite Force. And then from 2, they started alphabetically. But right, uh, this is where it all started. Teammate getting a beautiful and a timely plus 10 on that. Volunteers, what are the prizes like? Are there first two prizes, first three prizes? First three, sir. First three. So teammate, you still have a shot with... If you go two on two for the last two questions, yeah, that is where you end up on a third or a tie break or something, right? Question four on your screen now. Okay, so this is happening in this very popular European city, European location, and this is a very popular location. So much so that it's also inspired a comedy drama film. Which sports team? when looking when they went out to look for the kid inspiration for you know the club came across this location and decided on this location because it was one of the most important cultural landmarks for music and dance in the country this team plays in the english premier league and with that I'll close the question. Nobody's going for it. Manchester City. So this is the Hacienda, the 24-hour party place, if I can call it that. Right. So Hacienda uh, is, this is, this is what this is. And Manchester City with their new kit, draw direct design inspiration from this place. Right. And with that, the last question of this quiz before that, that is me, Bhushan Patel. Those are, that is where you reach me. Admission is not on Twitter and Instagram and some such. And that's about that. And after that, right, it's a huge thank you to, again, to the Quiz Club of IIT ISM and to all of you and to all of you who are watching on YouTube or who will watch it on YouTube and make fun of me or whatever, right, for whatever reasons, uh, which will be, right, people from my own friend circle. But anyway, so... Thank you to all of you as well for tuning it. And thank you for all, thank you to all of you for playing the quiz. And yeah, with that, the last question is here on your screen for plus 15 minus five. Just a second. Let me do the scores once again. 35, 30, minus 10, 40, 20, 30, 60, and 10. Okay. So... Team seven, if you don't do anything stupid, you're safe. There's a battle between team one, two, four, five, six, and eight, probably more or less. Right? Yeah. Last question. And this is by far my favorite question, which is why I'm ending with the ending the quiz with this. Okay. So this is Bhai Lang, right? It's very popular and whatnot. Team six and team one. Team six, very quickly, give me your answer. I will not wait for this. Give me your answer right now. I was going for Bhai Lang by saying it. But uh, if I have to go for error, I will say, uh, uh, Galat ho gaya bhai. Minus 10 to team six, team one. Shubhadeep or bhai, 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 bhai. Piyush gets it on the last question. Plus 15, Piyush. You finish the quiz on... You finish the quiz on what score? I have forgotten. I've kept, I've forgotten the tally, but you finish on 50 and you clinch the second place. But for now, that is what I was looking for. So when you see an error on the bhai line, you see the phrase, are bhai bhai bhai. And uh, that was my set. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you so long. And thanks for all the quiz. All right. Once again, thank you so much. We'll do the final scores. Congratulations to team seven finishing champions today with a score of 60 followed by team one uh, finishing runners up at 50 points and then team four finishing second runners up on 40. So that brings us to the end of this quiz. I had super, super fun doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did, but this is me, Bhushan Patel, signing off. Good night. Nice. No, it was still pretty interesting.
think so um that brings us to the end of today's events um we'd like to thank our quiz master for this wonderful and lovely set and we'd also like to thank our participants for being such great quizzers that's about it uh, please contact me and drop me drop a text on the whatsapp